Hi, I'm Marek Mulacic from SAITraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And this is video number eight of, on new features in Photoshop CS6. In this video, I'm going to talk about Adobe Camera Raw 7. So I'm just going to open some files here. I'll open some raw images so we can see the Camera Raw. Of course, uh, some of the new features in new version of Camera Raw is support for more cameras, support for newer cameras like Canon EOS 5D Mark III, as well as uh, new features and uh, fixes for the bugs as well. But there are some changes in Camera Raw 7. Okay, I've loaded some images here. Okay, oops, oops. Uh, and let me just zoom out uh, back, fit in view. Okay, here on the right hand side, uh, some change. Well, you got a white balance as usual. This hasn't changed. Something, something, notice something interesting. All the sliders here are now set in the center. Okay, so you said all the sliders are here. If you remember, some sliders were on actually the left hand side here. And there are some changes here. For example, we've got the black slider here. And what I would well what I would assume is what I would do in the past was I would move the black slider to the right. That's what we used to do in the past in previous versions of Camera Raw. But now when you move it to the right, you actually brighten the blacks, the darkest pixels in the image, instead of darkening them like in the previous versions. So nowadays we take the slider to the left. Okay. And of course, the blacks works on the darkest pixels in the image. With the whites, you get the representation here. So if you want to brighten them, you move the slider to the right. To darken them, you move them to the left. Okay. And of course, we use here we've got our clarity. So I would use that. I'm just going to change the white balance. Let's see. Auto. Very nice. Okay. Now I'll just quickly go through different tabs. So I'll go to the tone curve. Okay, I just want to show you just a couple of uh, new features. If we go to camera calibration, we've got a new process here in Camera 7 called 2012. As you remember, about two years ago when Adobe released Lightroom 3 and Creative Suite 4, 5, they introduced the new process version. We started with Lightroom 3. This was the 2010 process version, the first one in seven years. Now they've got a new one, 2012, and that's what I'm using by default. It's the new improved process version for raw images in Camera Raw 7 and in Lightroom 4 as well. Okay. Right. So these are just a couple of new features in Camera Raw 7. Just a short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from saitraining.co.uk and from photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.